The pace car pulls to the safety of the infield. We get ready for action. The field starts to set up on turn number four. Brad Caddick, Erica Canfield bring us to the green flag. Mike Helberg flips the twin green flags and we are underway. This speed bowl Saturday night as they go down into turn number one and try to make the initial charge on the inside is the 88 of Bill Sylvia. They whistle their way down through turns three and four. Caddick left high on the outside, trying to work the top side as Bavalaco begins to move, and he will scoot into second. Then it is Dorr in fourth, and now I'm going to welcome in to get ready, if he is ready to go, my announced partner and pal, Mr. John Gates. Okay, what a race so far we got going on. Look at that battle down. On, uh, 42 going for the lead right now. That's Bavalaco in turn number one. And Bavalaco has been hungry for a win all season here at the Speed Bowl. And right now he leads the pack down the backstretch, falling in line as the 88 of Sylvia. Here comes Dorr, he's on the move. He whistles into that third spot. And in fourth, it's a side-by-side -side slugfest between, it looked like, John, the Canfield family. Yeah, Canfield's moving right up there, looking, Eric is in fourth, Charles in fifth, and it's Brad Caddick in the number 24 car. We've got a whole gaggle of mini stocks going at it from position three, make that four on back. Yeah, John, they are stacked up behind the top three, the side-by-side -side Canfield family reunion going on down into turn number one. Then it is Nick Pap Papacota, the galloping grandpa, sitting in the sixth spot. Here comes Garside, he's on the move, trying to whistle his way up through the field. Goes to the outside of Papakota. Yeah, right behind him, it is uh, the number 24 of Caddick. Caddick on the move, but to the inside of him, how about that ride? The number 38 machine, looking good, looking smooth. That's Sam Misick. So Misick now moves through, and Lee almost thought about squeezing that Volkswagen in and making it three wide off turn number two. Thinks better of it. Balls behind LaFleche and Caddick. We swing to the front. Babalaco has the lead, looking to stretch it out over David Dorr, the number 19. Yeah, but Dorr's pretty quick now. He's trying to pull away from that third place car of Bill Sylvia. Sylvia looking for a win in at least one of these mini stock feature events today, as that number 88 team is well due for a victory. So everybody strung out nose to tail. It is Babalaco who leads the charge off turn number two down the back stretch, as we are just seven laps into this main event. Behind them, the best battle on the track right now is shaping up for fifth, where Garside tries to dice his way underneath the 28 of Erica Canfield. Canfield's still looking good, though. That car's getting quicker and quicker each and every week. Car, uh, you got Garside in front of her, then Nick Papacota. Feel good story right there. He's on the outside trying to hold back the advances of LaFleche. Well, we have said many times that Nick began his career at the old Riverside Park Speedway. That is a track that closed after the 1999 season, and he has been here at the bowl ever since. So as John said, that will be a real feel-good story for that Mark Martin number sponsored machine. Yeah, that look alike machine. Look alike. Now LaFleche goes to the outside of that number uh, six machine. So it's a good battle side by side. Rick LaFleche going way up high in turn number four. And now you also got the number 50. You talked about him a little bit earlier. That's David Lee. That Volkswagen's wound up and ready to go to the front. Now as we go back to our leader, Babalaco has had four second place runs so far this season. Closing in very quickly on him is the 19 of Door. He was a winner back on the 15th of June and a second place run on the 29th of June. And he is pedaling as hard as he can to close in on our leader, John Babalaco, as they will have 13 laps to go. Yeah, it's about a two car length advantage right now. Maybe three as they go under the stripe, but the 19 does seem to be chasing down that 42 car. We could have ourselves a battle for the lead here as the laps begin to dwindle down. It's gonna be halfway home this time by. Yeah, and Garside closing in. He's moved into that fourth spot. The question is, once he picks off the 88 of Bill Sylvia, does he have enough time and enough speed, John, to get up to our leaders? As you said, we have just hit the halfway marker. Yeah, Garside going right now to the inside of Sylvia. Sylvia with a good race there, running third, but drifts up high. Garside's going to put that number 83 car up to uh, third spot right now, and uh, Sylvia's got to worry because here comes Can Do, Charles Canfield. And our leaders have about a quarter of a track lead over the 83 of Garside. The field strung out all over the track, and it is Babalaco. The last time by, it was three tenths of a second. He had the lead over Door. We're gonna see what it is this time as they rocket by the start finish line. And it, it's 
gotten a little closer, John, but the tough point is, as we've said many times, 10 laps to go, you got to get there, and you got to try to pass a very tough John Bavalaco. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be trying to size the king up right now. He's got the lead. It's hard to get him out of that lead. But second spot right now, Door, he's got a good run on that number 19 car. He's right there on the rear bumper now of John Bavalaco. So getting ready and trying to be poised to strike. It is Door in the number 19. Bavalaco stays up high a little bit. That allows Door to close in just a little bit more. Eight laps to go in our mini stock. First of two main event. Yeah, big deal here. Big deal here for the mini stocks this afternoon. Now Sam Misick goes to the inside of Erica Canfield. Canfield on the outside. She been needs to watch out because Rick LaFleche, he may be following Misick in that same deal. And John, don't look now because if John Bamalaco looks behind him, he is going to see the smiling face of David Doerr in his rearview mirror as they go down the backstretch and perhaps Doerr looking to make a strike down in turn number three. Wow, that came quick. Here comes Doerr to the inside trying to get around the King. King shuts the door out of turn number four. Down under the stripe it is still John Bavalaco. A classic late race mini stock duel here at the Bowl. Bavalaco has the lead. Trying to figure out a way around is the 19 of Doerr. DJ Helberg holds up five fingers. Five laps to go in the mini stock feature. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. You got the 42, the 19, and then it's big time racing behind them guys with some two and three wide action, but up front, wow, 42, 19 going for the win. The laps beginning to get dwindle on that scoreboard. Babalaco, who grabbed the lead about five laps into the event, looking to hold on to it for another four. Door slides back probably by about a car length but he will continue to pester the back bumper of the 42. Into turn number two, down the back stretch right now. It's still John Bavalaco. Laps are dwindling, three to go this time by Bavalaco now with a one car length advantage over the 19. So we are setting up a finale here at the bowl. Garside in the third spot, fourth belongs to Sylvia, and then it is Canfield in the 25 making up our top five. But as we go back to the front, they will see popsicle sticks, twirling twos, this time by John Babalaco looking for his first win of the season in the mini stocks. Just eight turns, two laps to go. Charles Canfield gave a little love tap to the 88 car. 88 drifts up high. Canfield's going to take over that spot. We got trouble in turn number two. Two by two, the mini stocks ready to restart with three laps to go. Does the king have what it takes to win our first mini stock feature event of the evening? And he takes off like a rocket ship into turn number one. Second spot right. Car so, goes to the back of the pack. Yeah, so three laps left. Now uh, a green white checker to determine the outcome of the race. But this restart could determine determine it. And firing out of the box quickly is the 42 Bob, of Babalaco. And on his back bumper is his old pal, Chris Garside. Oh, Garside almost puts that car in the wall. We go three wide. Misik's going to take the lead. No, well, Misik shoots to the front. Door to the outside. Popsicle, white popsicle sticks this time through. And on the outside, it is Door charging to the front. Still got two laps to go as it went to turn number two. Doors got the lead, Misik to second, here comes the 83 on the outside, and that is G-side. The battle for the lead is going to be won by David Doerr. He was tracking him down early in this race, and he will take the checkered flag nope. as we have big time trouble over in turn. Ah. We got one lap to go in one this One lap thing. to go? Okay. See, Dave got too excited. Down the back stretch. We're still under green into turn number three. Car number 19, car number 83 going for the twin checkers out of turn number four. One last reach for the checkered flag, and it's going to be the 19 of David Doerr with the win. Finishing in second as we await for things to become official. Uh, on the scoreboard, it shows us the... Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I wouldn't go into fourth gear. Uh, I couldn't get it wound up very good, but it happened. I got it through the front stretch. Definitely needed this one. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I got I to gotta thank everyone that helps and keeps my motivation high. This is just awesome. I got Collins and Jewel, Haunted Hill Farms, Armstrong Chimney, TMR Customs, Hamilton Market, Saluka Dumpsters, Airtime, Kevco, my uncle, Al, Terry, Kim, my mom, my dad, my brother that's in the race, Mark Bastion, my beautiful girlfriend, my meme, Adelise, Randy, yeah.